So guys, this message is going for all the people working in different factories in Italy. Okay, if you know, say you be a factory worker, they work for a company, they work for factory. We come close, come listen to what they happen. It is very, very wrong for you to accept waiting no go. Where they no give you safety. You know, say if you they work for certain places, you need safety, you need gloves, you need uh, uh, all this protective gear for you to do your work properly. But in some places, they know they give all these gadgets where you need to wear. In some kind of works, you need all these things so that you will not enjoy yourself. Even helmet. You get places where we say if they, if they, they work there, if you don't wear all these things, they're not going to give you enter. But to our own surprise now, for Italy, a country like Italy, now you go see, say some people, they use immigrants because they don't get documents. Take them, they do the bouquet work without any form of protection. So anything will happen to them, now legally, they are on their own. So as you they look here, so you go see this guy, what they call, uh, um, what is the name? So I don't even forget his name. Um, they call him Boca Giallo, Boca Giallo, about 31 years of age. He don't buy inside factory where in the work. No, be only him buy you. One Indian guy too, where they work for factory too, they still don't buy that one. Buy all this bad belly work, where they know they look for safety, where they know they talk about safety and security of the people where they work those places. Now look at this. Now they said, um italy explosion in plant in a plant in bozano a senegalese worker by on now see they say that um boca giallo 31 a senegalese political refugee died in bozano on june 23rd following an explosion in the aluminium factory called aluminium bosin the man suffered bones on 57 percent of his body and it was impossible to save him. May his soul rest in peace. On the same, 57% of the body, <laughs> fire don't take him. Very, very sad. And um, look at this one. I don't know whether Senegalese people don't protest too. They say Italy calls for greater protection against migrant worker exploitation. It is because these Indians have uh, started protesting. They say the death of an Indian migrant worker in Italy who was reportedly abandoned, abandoned on a road after his arm was severed in a work-related incident. He sho has shocked the country and prompted calls for better protection against migrant worker exploitation. Now, these ones now, now all those uh, former, that, uh, that woman, those, those women, Luciamo Lamogese and um, where the other woman too, um i don't forget the woman name those ones now them be interior minister before i be the yeah those days they did uh, this uh, what do you call this uh, uh paper that they were giving to all the migrants but up to today some people never collect that paper because of all these people like matthew savini georgia meloni and then they kick against all those uh, um, immigrant uh, document by now Majority of the people for don't get document. And you know, say if you get document, you can easily relocate to places where there is work. Yesterday, um, we had a live program, and uh, some people said that there was work and house somewhere where you can rent. So for those people who be say when I want to relocate, we gonna um and work somewhere. Then get work. Whether na is it is it uh, I don't know whether na. Is it Bozana? Be which, which place? My guy too is still one of the guests on the program. Then get house for that place. So make on a day. Uh -huh. Come up when we anytime we will want to do all this uh, program so that on a go for live program or if you join us so that on a go they hear latest update and also share our videos. It's important. Now they said Italy. Giallo Boca Tatuan is a legalist political refugee died in Bozana on 23rd. June, following an explosion in the aluminium factory called aluminium buzzing, the man suffered bones on 57% of his body. A young man wearing a shirt in tech, look at sh wearing shirt in tech material with a wireless headset is seen standing in a gym. It's a picture like many others of young people on social media. That picture 
where the young man wears a yellow shirt is all that is left of Boca Jalo, a 31 year old Senegalese national. The man was employed at aluminium bosom and died on June 24th. 23rd in the major bomb victims ward at the hospital in Verona. The wounds caused by the explosion were too extensive. Another five co-workers on his same shift were also injured. Jalo had bones over 57% of his body. Now the memories and account of those who knows Jalo Boka. When Boka arrived in Italy, he was a refugee and received political asylum. So the guy even have documents. He, ha he had built a new life for himself in Bozano. Despite having a job in the steel plant like many migrants, he had trouble finding lodging. Now, to find house was a problem for him. He lived in the Zeila Maso, a building that was used for agricultural products in the Grise. <clears throat> In the Grise neighborhood, there are currently 28 men and one young Nigerian woman with her two young children who are housed there. When I see, so this is what some of our people are passing through. You go see work. They don't go agree give you house for this Italy. So a lot of we they here went for this Italy. You go see work with document with life contract. They don't go still give you house. You they see. So when we say that things are not balanced, truly they are not balanced. People are passing through. Now a woman with Peking now, now they squat for one place. The woman lives in the apartment with Karen Cream Bell. Cream Belly, the person in charge of the shelter. He was a golden boy. He walked and prayed, said uh, Cream Belly. He came here in March. He was working, but he needed a place to stay. I will never forget the day that Teasing, that uh, teasing me, he said, I was not looking after him sufficiently. I replied to him, you can take care of yourself alone. You are bright. There are other persons who are more vulnerable, she added. Those living at Maso Zela are now in mourning. They lost a co-lodger and a friend. A few years ago, the building was made available by the entrepreneur from Bozano. Uh, Helmut Franznelli Krimbelli commented on the project stating that was a great opportunity that fills the gap of the institutions without the help of uh, Franz Nelly. 30 people will be forced to live on the street. So, uh, this person now has been struggling. You they see how in life now they struggle, even where in the state. Now, manage, still they manage there. But to all avail, mm -hmm. co workers are also, also in serious condition, union in protest. Another three. Uh, work colleagues are currently in severe condition. The most serious cases is the state of the foreman Atan Villa 48 who is hospitalized in Milan. The others are in Verona and Bavaria. Following the accident, the unions FIM, FIOM and the UILM strike for 8 hours on Monday, June 24 at the site of the plant aluminum and for 4 hours at the entire metal work, uh, worker sector in the region of Alto Adige. In the meantime, Fiume announced that it will stand as a civil plaintiff in the criminal trial. You cannot die at work. We've had to say this too many times in this year, stated CGIL, AGB, and Fiume MAV unions. It is time for actions to follow. We must increase safety to avoid a similar tragedy repeating itself. So, which means that this guy was not protected, we are in the work. But if he no work there, what will he do? Is he to do sure? Right, they say, say this Obodo Ibo said, you know, balance. The hope is that political forces may come together and implement more useful and efficacious initiatives for the maximum protection of working condition of workers, stated the president of the Chamber of Deputies, Lorenzo Fontana. It is here. So make him so, make him rest in peace. And then um, on another update here, they say that um, following the death of Indian worker, another person too, Satnam Singh, that the one who was abandoned on a road after severing his arm in a work accident on June 17th. Protesters gathered in Latina on June 22nd, organized by the CGIL Union, to call for better protection against migrant Ex, um, exploitation. So, 
a lot of uh, uh, um, uh, people are being exploited in this country. A lot of people are passing through a lot in this country. You see, I'm so this one now by in the same month we just lost this one, lost the other one. Others are in the hospital fighting for their lives. Very, very sad indeed. Now, they, they say that following the death of a 31 year old farm worker, this one now is working in the farm. Mm -hmm. There have been calls from within the Italian government to take action against the exploitation of migrant workers in Italy. Satnam Singh was left severely injured on the street last Monday, June 17th, after losing his right arm while working at a farm near Latina, southeast of Rome, Sky TG24 reported. Italian state broadcaster Rai reported that Singh's arm was severed by a plastic wrapping machine on the farm, which was being towed by a tractor and crushed his lower limbs. He was later loaded into a van and abandoned near his home. His severed arm was found in a vegetable collection box, according to Rai. You see this kind of death, seeing a terrible one. The Guardian reported that his wife called the police and an air ambulance was sent to transport him to San Camilo Folani, Folani Lini Hospital in Rome. However, he died two days later. On Wednesday, as a result of injury, CNN reported. So, not be small matter, be this one. Um, this uh, this uh, kind of suffering is uh, too much. Look at the kind of death that that guy uh, witnessed. There's a video I want to show you. We are some migrants who are working for, for less. I think uh, somebody wrote it was a Ghanaian migrant that were doing that work. You will see people, they are paying them peanuts. Paying them small, small money. We no reach anything. Where that video? Now they find. I need to show you guys that very video. So that on I go, they see waiting people, they pass through to get money for uh, uh, Obodo Ibo. Say no be moi moi and beans. Where is this video? My goodness. I need to show you guys. You guys need to see this. Hmm? Because some people go think say na uh, moi moi and beans. So this is the video I found. I think it was it on TikTok that I found it. They say they earn 20 to 30 euros a day. Ghanaian working on Italian farm. After all these struggles, they send money home for building and family members who squander all the money. You can see, so these guys are working. These middlemen pay them per crate after they deducted a commission. Mm. Right, guys, so I believe you saw this video. I believe you have seen this video. Um... That is how it is in Italy. A lot of people are passing through hell. So help me share this message so that other people say go see him. And all those people will be say bring, 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 go still see and say the matter, you know, easy. Once you send part of that money that you've received, survival becomes difficult. You now start managing, squeezing yourself to make sure that you, you know, you survive to raise and work another one that you also used to have combo combo you understand okay thank you very much and uh, god bless you i'll see you guys on the next one don't forget to share our video and um, use the tap tap send to send money to nigeria bye